Okay, in this video, I'd like to show you how cosine and sine relate to complex exponentials. All right, and how to switch around. This is something which people doing, would say, um, applied mathematics, uh, definitely from third year in college onwards, or if you're doing any bit of physics, uh, we'll say a bit of optics or quantum physics or something like that. You're going to need to be able to use Euler's formula. So I've written down there what Euler's formula means, and this is Euler's formula. To read it out, it means e to the i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sine theta, and e to the negative i theta is equal to the same thing with a negative sine. That's our Euler's formula, and that's the end of it, really, I suppose. So you're saying to yourself, well, how, how do I actually, how do I relate, really, how do I say, well, cos theta is equal to something in exponentials, and how is sine theta equal to something in expo exponentials? And I'll tell you now in a moment. But the main thing to take in from this is that exponentials, Complex, complex exponentials can become trigonometric functions and trigonometric functions can become complex exponentials and there are other trigonometric functions, the hyperbolic trigonometric functions which actually become real exponentials whereby the, the iota here isn't in the equation but I'm not talking about that now so let's do the following, what if I did this, what if I said e to the um, i theta plus e to the minus i theta, what if I added the two of those, what would I get? But of course I'm going to get, well, I'm just going to write C and S from now on, right? So I'm going to get cos theta plus I times sine theta plus cos theta minus I times sine theta. That means the sines are going to cancel, get rid of those. And we're now going to get 2 times cosine theta. So what we can now say is that cosine theta is equal to e to the i theta plus e to the minus i theta over 2. Boom! Now we have cos theta in terms of complex exponentials. That was very simple. Let's do the same thing with our sine, or a similar thing. So we want to get e to the i theta minus e to the minus i theta. In this case we're going to get cos plus i sine minus cos plus i sine. So we're going to get 2 times iota times the sine of theta is equal to that thing over there. And as a result you're going to get that sine theta is equal to uh, e to the i theta minus e to the minus i theta over 2i. Notice the complex number here, you need that iota. And by the way, just in case you're wondering, well, how am I supposed to figure that out? The answer is you're not, because look, uh, I think it's Leonard, or, or Leonard Euler, your man was a genius, okay, he was like the founder of mathematics, essentially, really. The point is that Euler obviously didn't come up with this in two minutes, he had to do a good bit of thinking to come up with this. So, there's no point doing all the thinking yourself now. Just take it for fact that you can manipulate them, and this is how you manipulate them. And the last thing I'd like to show you is, what happens if we add cos and sine? So, what if we say a cos plus b sine? Alright, we know that. We know that, the following. We know that cos is equal to e to the i theta plus e to the minus i theta over 2 and sine is equal to e to the i theta minus e to the minus i theta over 2i. So what if, I, what if I want to get a cos plus b sine? Alright, it's going to be as follows. It's going to be, uh, I'm going to use my blue barrel, a times, no, it's not going to be a times anything. Actually it is. It's going to be a times e to the i theta plus e to the minus i theta over 2 plus b times e to the i theta minus e to the minus i theta over 2i and that's going to be equal to e to the i theta a over 2 plus b over 2i plus e to the minus i theta times a over 2 minus b over 2i and these are constants so call them something else a bar I'm going to call them that's just a constant. 
and B bar. You could call them C and D or whatever you like. And we know that that is equal to, just to conclude, I'll get rid of this. We know that from rearranging that, that's equal to cos plus sine. Alright, so the point is trigonometric functions and exponentials are very much the same thing and they can be moved around and shown to be the same thing. So thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.